This is a very quick tutorial to be used alongside the instructions on my GitHub on setting up an MIRC Twitch bot that works in conjunction with OnkBot and OnkBot's point system, as well as install and use any of the scripts I have set up on my GitHub as well. So the first thing you want to do, assuming you read this section already, let's go down to installation. Uh, if you don't have an MIRC Twitch bot, we want to set one up. So step one, download and install MIRC. Here's the link, click it. It'll open this page, click on download MIRC. There it is, 2.6 megs, click it, run it. Next, default directory is fine, go to next. Now this section right here, stop here, um, go back here. It says uncheck everything except for scripts and help files. We're gonna do that. There's scripts, there's help files, that's all we need. Next, 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 install, run it. Once it's done, It'll give you this evaluation screen. If you do pay the $10 one-time, $10 fee, you'll never see this. Go to continue. Continue, boom, we get to this screen. So if we go back to our GitHub instructions, uh, step two is to get your bot Twitch account, not your main Twitch account, it's, uh, set up with MIRC. So it's instructions from Twitch right here. Click that. Step one, install MIRC, done. When the program opens, we'll open the MIRC options window, which is where we're at right now. Um, set your nickname in the connect tree. Now remember, this is your bot's name. So nickname, uh, all lowercase. So mine's Blazbot, Blazbot for nickname and alternative. That's it. Uh, now we want to go to the connect servers section. Let's do that. Connect servers right here. Now we want to click on add. So we're going to click add. Now here we want to put the information Twitch tells us, which is Twitch chat chat irc server irc.twitch.tv irc.twitch.tv the port is the default 6667 group tmi tmi and the password is not your twitch password uh, it is an oauth token so make sure you're logged in your web browser on twitch as your bots account uh, log out of your main account log in as your bot then click on this link here it will give you this password generator once you connect this, but once you click this button to connect with Twitch, you'll get a big string that says OAuth colon and a bunch of characters after it. Copy all of that. I'm not going to show my token here, obviously, but once you click on that, copy all of that token, including the OAuth part, and then go back to MIRC and paste it under password and go to add. Now, next step here, it says go back to the connect screen. Before we go back to the connect screen, we're actually after we just added it, click on select. So make sure to select it, and that will automatically take you back to the connect screen. Now it says click the connect button. Connect. Uh, allow it in your firewall if it asks you. Uh, it will pop up this favorites thing. We don't want to see this favorites every time. We're going to disable that from showing up by clicking this button here. And now we're going to add channel to join automatically, which is hashtag and your channel's name. Uh, click join on connect right here. OK. And OK here. Boom. So if we disconnect, reconnect, that favorites won't pop up and we automatically join our main channel. Simple. So that's that. It's all done. Uh, this instructions, we are done with the instructions. We don't need to worry about this join part section because that will be handled automatically in a script that we're going to install. So we can close this. Now, the next step here is to download the required scripts. You need these five scripts for anything else to work. So we want, first actually, this section, this part right here, copy this app data, MIRC, copy that to your clipboard. Now, when we right click on the first one, save link as. It's gonna open this. It'll probably go to our downloads or something. We wanna change this, paste in what you just copied here, hit enter. And that's your MIRC root directory right here. So we're going to save it into here. Save. Go to the next one. Right click. Save link as. And we're going to save it here again. Uh, the next one. Right click. Save link as. Save it there. Now this fourth one here is a zip file. Usually the website's not working. Now there's a link here. You can right click this. Save link as. Save it there as well. And the fifth one, save link as, save it there as well. Now, this one here was a zip file. 
So assuming you don't have any archive program or know how a zip works, uh, just click on that. See it all here. So extract all files. Uh, we want to extract it to the same directory, which is one up from what they're suggesting here in Windows. So erase this MSQ light part, then that's where we want right here. So extract, and you can see it in here with all the other JSON, the onkbot, all that good stuff. So you can close down these folders. Now we want to install the required scripts in MIRC. So copy this first part, copy that, go back to MIRC, paste it into here, hit enter, say yes to everything. Just keep going down the list. Next, paste, yes, yes, next, copy and paste, yes, next. Copy and paste. Yes, yes. And awkbot.mrc. This is the one I created. It's going to ask you, I think, three questions once you load it. It's going to ask you your bot or your Twitch name, not your bots. So mine's Blasman13. Then if you did not change the default install directory of awkbot, just click OK on this. Most people just click OK. If you did change the direct, the default install directory, you're going to have to figure out where the data files are and put the path in here. But for most people, just click OK. And the name of your channel currency, we'll call ours points. And that's it. All the main stuff is done. You're done already. That simple. Now we want to download and install the desired scripts. So you want to go to the wiki page, which is linked here a bunch of times. Uh, don't click them on here and save as that'll just break things so go to the wiki page and say we want to install uh, the jackpot the newest jackpot we'd right click on this save link as just like the other files save it to that directory again boom so now if we go to MIRC do the same load quick tip if you press the up key here it'll load I'll show your last thing so load dash RS so it's jackpot dot v2 dot mrc run the commands it'll ask us a bunch of stuff about jackpot enter two emotes emote one two how much points 100 sure what'll be the cooldown i don't know two minutes uh starting amount we'll say whatever ten thousand okay that's done uh the newest jackpot in slots they actually have context menus you right click here Change everything pretty much uh, right here as well. It's kind of neat. All right, so that's that's done. We've installed the main scripts. We now you know how to do everything. I'm going to keep going with with the tutorial because I'm going to change a few things, make the experience better here. So Alt O is to get us back to this menu. Uh, to, to go down to options, you want it to connect automatically when you start it up. Connect on startup. Uh, you don't want to see this connect thing when you start it up because we just want to connect to our main channel. So get rid of this. So again, turn this one on, turn this one off. Now under IRC, we want to use single message window. The reason is because whispers that go back and forth. We don't want a bunch of different windows open. Uh, just one window is fine for that. So just click on that. Uh, under options, we don't need user addresses. That's everyone's at twitch.tv. Everyone's the same address. Under messages, in case you ever do want to go back here, I recommend timestamps. You don't have to do that, but I like to have them on. And that's all the main stuff I recommend. So click OK. Now I like to take it a step further. Now I like to do some tweaking with getting this down in the system tray. You don't have to do this. When you do uh, under display down here. Go to options. Go to tray. I like to check everything. Um, always show it in the, the, the icon on the tray. On startup, minimize the tray. A place tray in place and tray when minimized and single click to open. So I like to select all that. Click OK. Now we can save everything we changed here. Um, sounds. I almost skipped sounds. So go to sounds to disable all the dinging noises you're going to hear. Just disable this completely so you don't ever have to hear ding ding ding. It's annoying. Um, so now we changed everything we need to change. I forgot something. No, that's everything. Okay, click OK. We're done. So if I exit the program now, 
Now if I click on the shortcut and run it, uh, again if you register it you'll never see the screen. So pretend it's registered. Boom, now it's down here. You want to see it in Windows all the time, which I do. I go to Customize, uh, Show Icon and Notifications beside the MIRC. Click OK, now it'll always be here if you want to open it. Boom, we're already connected, we're in the channel, the jackpot's running, everything's good to go. Simple, that's it, you're done. Uh, I recommend if you want, you can mess with the colors, get a black background going, all that good stuff. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I like to go even further because I like to turn on my computer and have it start run automatically without me worrying about it. So if you actually go to your programs, you see a startup folder, you can right click that, go open. Uh, if you take the same shortcut that's on your desktop, right click that, take it here and go to copy. Boom, now when you turn your computer off, you turn it back on again. You'll load MIRC and just shove it down system tray. Again, if you register, you'll never see this. So you'll never even notice that you started it. And boom, it's down here. It's connected. All your stuff's running. That's it. That's the whole tutorial. It's literally that simple. Uh, so thanks for watching. If this helped out, click the like button down below. And that's everything. Bye.